Every one of us who lifts weights with the goal of transforming our physical appearance have at one point or another looked for some type of edge or key to a magic treasure chest which contains a secret to boosting our strength so that we could achieve the muscle mass and definition that we desire instantly. Now when it comes to lifting exercises, workout regimens and techniques, most of us already have enough knowledge to get to the next level. Six time Mr. Olympia Dorian Yates stated on his Blood and Guts Hardcore Mass Trainer video that he, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lee Haney, Ron Coleman, and all the great bodybuilders pretty much all use the same exercises all the time. So why do we continue searching for the newest exercises, workout techniques, and workouts from the bodybuilding magazines and forums? Again, it's because we're looking for that magic key. Sure, we want to keep learning, but let's be honest. We want results, and we want them now. It's the reason why the supplement industry is a billion dollar business. Some people have even went as far as taking anabolic steroids in the quest to get that edge, those seemingly instant results. But is there a natural stimulant that can give us the quick strength boost that we're after? Well, in this video series, I'm going to present you with the science behind the idea that music can be this natural stimulant that produces an instant boost in strength and trigger the faculties of the mind that lead to amazing physical gains as we take a look at the science behind music for muscles. Now, I don't know about you, but I wasn't always the most attentive person in class as a student. So if you're like me, don't worry. I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of super complicated alien brain formulas that I don't even understand. But I am going to show you how music can have more of an impact on your muscle building efforts than you may realize. And I'll even reveal how you could potentially be ruining your progress without even realizing it. So this should be interesting. Speaking of interesting, listen to this statement. When carefully selected according to scientific principles, music can enhance endurance by 15% and improve the feeling states of exercisers. This statement was a result of a study led by Dr. Costas Cario, Dr. K, we're going to call him for this video, from Grinnell University's School of Sport and Education and Professor Peter Terry from the University of Southern Queensland. Dr. K further explains that the synchronous application of music resulted in much higher endurance, while the motivational qualities of the music impacted significantly on the interpretation of fatigue symptoms right up to the point of voluntary exhaustion. Now, this is just one out of a series of scientific studies that have concluded that music can provide an instant boost in productivity in the gym. And the beauty of it is that it does not cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars like steroids or expensive miracle supplements that promise to provide instant results and fail. Here's an interesting thought to consider. One of the methods taught in self-defense classes is to strike an attacker at certain points of the ears for the purpose of causing a loss of perception and balance for the attacker. Now this is interesting because it shows that there is a connection between the ears and a person's motor skills, balance, and ability to maintain control of their body. The ear has an effect on the movement of our body and is also the point at which all sound enters and vibrates. It was theorized by Dr. Alfred Tomatis, or Tomatis, however you choose to pronounce, that from the very first vertebrate life, the ear had been used not only for auditory purposes, but also to regulate movement. The ear choreographs the body's dance of balance, rhythm, and movement. The ear is the gyroscope, the CPU, the orchestra conductor of the entire nervous system. Now from this, we can begin to make sense as to why sound, music, and frequencies could have an effect on the activities of our bodies. An exercise scientist named Charles Emery at Ohio State University theorized that music may help organize the stimulus activity in your body that comes from exercise. It's theoretical based on developing research that exercise provides growth stimulus such as increased blood flow. We think exercise fires up the neurotransmitters in the brain and your hormonal system. Music can be the response to that stimulus. So how does music affect your exercise performance? Well, according to a study conducted by Nicole Harmon and Dr. Lynn Kravitz, Program Coordinator of Exercise Science and Researcher at the University of New Mexico, there are four main ways by which music can facilitate exercise performance. Number one is the reduction of sensation of fatigue, where music distracts focus from specific physical feelings of fatigue. Number two is by an increase in levels of mental arousal, where the altering of the mind's arousal state results in an increase in exercise performance, where the music psychs a person up to perform an exercise better than they otherwise would. Number three is the improvement of motor coordination, where certain rhythms will enhance and improve motor tasks, which in turn improve exercise performance. 
Now the wrong type of music can augment the performance in a negative way. Number four is an increase in relaxation, where elevated hormones, which would normally contribute to muscle fatigue, could be suppressed or dampened by music, which would increase performance. The study concluded that introducing music into a workout routine can help the person to exercise more efficiently and perform under an increased workload and time to exhaustion. Over the years, more studies like this have been done by various professors, exercise scientists, and sports doctors at various universities around the world. The experiments performed have confirmed the idea that music can have an impact on a person's workout and has led to the growth of workout music. The problem is that the workout music currently on the market seems to be geared more for aerobics and cardio exercise. What about those of us who want to lift weights with the intention of gaining strength, mass, and definition? Is there a right and wrong type of music to listen to while lifting weights? And could your iPod be doing more harm to your workouts than good? The short answer to all the above is yes. According to scientific and physical tests, you could actually be hurting your progress with your current selection of music for your weightlifting workouts. And in the next video, we're going to dig deeper into these experiments to find out how. So keep your eyes open to your inbox, because I'll be sending that next video over to you in a few days. Until then, be sure to make your next workout your best workout. I'll talk to you soon.